I gotta fix the circle. Gotta fix the circle, gotta fix the circle. Oh yeah, that's better. We still need to chop down and shift around some trees, but now that the circle's looking a little bit more circle-y, let's get on to our tasks at hand. So the very first thing we need to do is we need to get sheep so we can get a bed so that we don't have to worry about phantoms in the middle of the night. Um, but we don't have a lot of dirt, which is kind of sad and surprising, but to be fair, I traded a lot of it away. So today we mainly want to get a bed. Like that is my biggest thing because I really don't want to have this fear of working out in the middle of the night and knowing that phantoms are going to spawn on me at some point. So what we're going to do is we're going to set out some spawning areas. Oh, the sun's coming up. Good, good, good. Hopefully we'll get some, you know, cows and sheep. We are at like Y64 here right now and we may have to move this downwards. Who knows? All of our initial islands are gonna be the same size, so we'll definitely eventually expand this. Um, and this will probably have like, you know, our primary mobs on it, our cows and our sheep, maybe our chickens. <gasps> Vegetarian? What's this goal? Eat 64 carrots? I don't think I've eaten 64. Not yet, and I certainly wasn't eating at that moment. Anyways, while we wait for that grass to spread, let's go ahead and start our mob spawner, or our, our farms kind of island over here too. Alrighty, we got another circle here. Let's fill it in as quickly as humanly possible. I feel like we should continue the cherry uh, stripes as well. We've had a lot of new faces joining the channel lately, so welcome and thanks for coming along. And if you haven't joined already, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button, we'd love to have you. You know what that field needs. It needs some light. That is not where we want our mobs to spawn. Okay, while it's night tonight, I'm gonna sit and mine the one block because I really want more dirt. Oh, we've got a new visitor. Excellent. You know what I wanna do is I wanna see if I can get like one of those guys and one of the guys that pops up here in the at the one block, if I can get them to make some babies and we can get villagers that actually, you know, stay and don't despawn that way. All right, well, that was a productive night. We got 27 dirt um, and a bunch of other goodies too. Who would have thought that dirt would be the most precious commodity in this game? Jeez. Along with mob farms, I would really like to start building an actual house today. Um, and that's gonna be a long-term project, partly because I wanna use blackstone as the roof and uh, I, I don't think we're going to the nether anytime soon. Here's the other thing about this island. If we put the mob spawner in the center, that's going to keep it really, really close to where I hang out. So we want, it, we want the mob spawner itself to actually be farther away than this. Um, so that's kind of an interesting dynamic. Also, we've had two days of having quite a bit of grass out there and nothing spawned yet. And I'm wondering if maybe I should lower it, like if I should put a field down at the bottom of the world. We're getting so much mud from the one block. I can't help but wonder if there's anything special we can do with it. There don't seem to be any recipes for it though. While we're at night again though, Let's talk about, let's see, what I want to do for for our build here, for our house. We need a house. I want to be able, from this bottom floor, to look out towards our different, our different directions, our different circles and all those things. I also want to do it in just kind of a floating island kind of style. So it's gonna be tall and skinny and go up a bunch of floors. Our color palette is gonna be kind of a white, base of the build, um, along with green mixed in at kind of, you know, the different roof kind of levels and dark oak highlights. And then the top will be a black stone roof. We don't have like any yellow right now, um, other than like we could maybe start making some hay bales. And I guess, I guess bamboo actually, we have bamboo. I forget that that's a thing now. Oh, jeez, that's a thunderstorm. Don't hit anything, don't burn anything. I, oh gosh, I need, I need a lightning rod right now. And I need to get down and away from that quickly too. 
Now, is it ridiculously ambitious of me to be using calcite for this build? Absolutely it is. But it's so pretty, and I can't get it from traders. So, like, it's not that crazy, right? No, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's definitely crazy. Why am I doing this to myself? Ah! There they are. There they are. There's the phantoms. Fortunately, the sun is coming out. Oh, he's mad. All right, let's take a look at that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can definitely see also just like kind of the concepts and the colors going on here. And I love it. We can put maybe um, some lanterns. And that'll have to do us until we get some honeycomb as well. I made the advancement, the builder. What do you want to bet that's more uh, placing blocks or dirt blocks down kind of stuff? Builder, place 250 dirt blocks. Yep. Now the one way, the other way we can get wool for a bed is a spider farm. So I think once the sun comes back up, we'll really start cranking away on the mob farm. And I've had two very important thoughts. One, we can turn moss into podzol, and then podzol we can dig back up as dirt. So oh, he's out there. Okay, very cool. So that solves our dirt problem pretty well. And all we have to do is we just have to keep switching out uh, our dirt back there for moss. The next thought is, I think I know what I'm going to do in the, cen in, in the center circle here, is I'm actually going to put in a fishing pond. Because that will let us get some enchantments and things like that. And then we'll put the mob spawner out farther on, a, on its own small little island. And I think that will be, keep them far enough away that um, they'll spawn most of the time when we're working out and about in these areas. Hello, sir. Where, where'd he go? Oh, did he walk upstairs? He probably walked upstairs. Hey, buddy, what you got for me? I got gold, kelp, copper, dripstone, warped fungus. Cow! They can bring a cow next time! That's worth it. 25 gold? Absolutely. I've got plenty, I think. Oh, dear. I just realized I didn't come back and pick up dark oak saplings. Uh, after cutting those down, so I guess I'm glad that wood was there. I think we have three. Yeah, we have three. Oh, we need to be careful about that. Ooh. Glistening. Obtain a gold ingot. We have indeed done so. Hello, sir. I don't even remember what I was... Oh, yeah. I was trading for a cow. Yay. Farm village... Vi Order a mob from a trader. Okay. We have ordered a mob. Okay, that circle is a fantastic size, but I think, I think we need to lower it. Oh, we're going to do some water wrangling here. So if we go up there, yeah, it'll spill over the edge. And that will mean that we can very carefully and carefully and carefully and carefully. <laughs> Go down like a cell. And then. Oh! Okay. Alright, let's make a little splurge here. I am iron. Obtain an iron nugget. And we'll grab our torches. And we'll go like a so. And that only made one, so we'll make another one. And we'll hang one there. And one there. Cute. Oh dear. There's a creeper over there. Well, we know the we know the drill with creepers. We dump all our goods into a chest, except for what we need to take him on. Don't blow up. Ah. Uh, well, now we have to fix the staircase again. It's okay. All right, that's a lot of iron that we just used up. Fortunately, we've been we have a lot of raw iron again too. But for the very bottom of our spawner, we need hoppers first, and I guess we also need more uh, chests as well. Ah, I need to go grab myself a water bucket because we're going to be doing a lot of traveling up and down from that thing soon. You know what we should do? Well, one, we should just see if we can even recover our calcite here. Because I think what I want to do on the bottom... Oh, no, it went away. 
I want to do uh, words, mud bricks, mud bricks on the bottom layer. Oh, that texture goes so well with the calcite. Oh, I love it. In fact, I love it so much that we're going to take more of the plain old diorite away and replace it with birch. Yeah. <gasps> Look over there. Oh, we have friends. All right, well, we've, we've got to go secure them a little bit. Hello, friends. I see a little little dash of white there. Oh, chickens, that's what those are. Okay. No sheeps, that's unfortunate. But you know, they can't fall off anywhere. So that's the good news. I don't know if the one block will give us anything else, but I would love to see something like um, some terracotta come up or, you know, amethyst would be great too. Ah, hello, a new step and a new villager. Oh, we can trade diamonds for mycelium. Ooh, can't get terracotta, but we have to trade dirt for it. And I don't think that is something that I can do. We can also trade for a bucket of tadpole and a globe banner pattern. Hmm. It's literally one dirt. Let's do that. So step eight is mine the block 3,500 times. Oh, <gasps> we've got glowstone. Oh, excellent. And netherrack. Ooh, fantastic. So do we not even necessarily need to go to the nether? Like I'm still gonna at some point. I just realized I'm wearing the wrong skin. I suppose we'll have to deal with it. No, no, we needed to change. Gotta, gotta keep things as consistent as we can, even with my runaway brain. <gasps> oh my lord. Ancient debris. Now, the question is, can you mine ancient debris with anything other than a diamond pick? I don't know. Let's find out. And not by experimentation. We will not be finding that out via experimentation today. Okay, it does have to be mined with a diamond pick. We'll leave it for now, but we also have plenty of diamonds. I'm not entirely sure how the despawning works on these kinds of mobs, but let's breed them up just in case. Oh, the parrots and the bats. Just in case there's a way of them despawning, because I know that once you breed them, they don't despawn, or at least I'm pretty sure of that. All right, well, I think it's time then to craft ourselves a pick, a diamond pick, and... Mine ourselves this ancient debris. Yes! Yes! Okay. Soul sand? Don't mind if I do. And there's a new visitor. Where is he? Come down here. Sorry. Sorry, bub. Ooh, potatoes. Nice. Sponges. That's cool. Axolotls? We're going for the axolotl, obviously. Hi. I need an axolotl. Thank you, sir. Well, I desperately need more calcite at this point. So that's cool, I guess. <laughs> I have my diamond pick on me. That is a really dumb thing. I should not have the axolotl in my inventory either. What the heck? Oh, he did bring a cow with him and I didn't even need to spend anything on that because I got them. Oh, we are so close and yet so far. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oops. Okay. Not the end of the world. We'll be fine. Let's go collect my things. Oh no! There's, there's, there's a, there's a, there's a creeper. That's not. All right. Well, I don't think I will get attacked by phantoms, since. Okay. Ah, jeez. Don't blow up, don't blow up, don't blow up. Got him. Ooh, and he gave me some more. Ah! Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That's terrible. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that, oh, that front bit needs to be mm, closed up. Okay. Gotta go in and try to take some of these dudes out, possibly. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Goodness. I'm gonna die again, aren't I? Where'd I get blue dye from? What the heck? Well, I think the mob spawner works. All right, let's go back in.
Oh, he fell off. Fantabulous. There we go. Alrighty. Well, now they can't. Wait, where did where did my torches go? Ooh, no, no, no. We can't let that happen. I know there's not really anything we can do about it right now. I'm not going back there until the sun is back up because yeah, I'm not ready to deal with that. Sir, I must ask you to move. Thank you. Why? Really? Honestly, I can't believe I paid for this cow. Though I do think we've had significantly fewer dumb trades with traders uh, this, this session. So that's good, I guess. I'm so sorry, friend. Ooh, they drop wheat too. Fantastic. I was not about to deal with the rigmarole of taking him over to the island, though. I think next episode we will expand our farming area and build places where we can uh, grow, grow nice amounts of crops without intruding on our lovely little forest island. All right, let's ride the water stream up and hope we don't get got by any skeletons. Very nice. And the whole thing should be spawn-proofed except for this spot. So if we do that and then... Oh, yeah. That's more like it. All right. Excellent. So now we have a mob spawner. And it's at least somewhat functional. Things are definitely spawning inside. Let's say that. Ta-da! All cleaned up. We've moved all our storage upstairs officially. Over here we have like dirt kind of things, wood items, stone items, uh, ingredient kinds of items, and then precious things, ores and, and other treasures, and farming things. And then we've got tools and decor, which includes like workspace things and storage stuff, all those goodies. So now this area is cleaned out and more, more manageable, and we'll decorate it up as we get the walls up, but we really need a dude with calcite. Anyways, speaking of tools, let's make me my first sword. Oh, weaponry. That's an advancement. Craft an iron sword. And we're going to put it to good use right away. I can't quite reach them. That's unfortunate. I could set this up to automatically kill things, too, but being able to get the XP is nice. All right, little footsies, little cozies. I can't reach. Oh, that's dangerous. This is looking like maybe a thunderstorm. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're getting slime balls? Where are we getting slime balls from? Is this a slime chunk, or do they drop things? Oh, they're dropping lots and lots of treasures. Well... Jeez. Did that set anything on fire? No. Okay, so it is hitting our lightning rod and not setting things on fire. Which is the good news. Now, let's take a peek down in here and see if we actually have string. We have eight... and seven... Oh, I think we have enough to make wool and make a bed? Oh, thank goodness. Oh, look at that go. Now, I think it's just four. Yep, just four makes wool, and we need three wool. All right, we will dye it later. But, let's take our first nap. I disappeared. Interesting. Let's take our first nap. Sweet dreams. Excellent. All right, we do definitely need to dye our bed. What color should I dye it? We'll make ourselves a proper bedroom later. Now I just want to use this mob spawner. <gasps> There's a villager. Oh. Oh, this brings new possibilities. If we kill all these guys off. Carefully. So as not to hit the villager. <gasps> no, I killed him. Oh, no. Well, they are dropping blue dye. That's fantastic. We've got so much good loot. Oh, they dropped a pottery shard. So it's interesting. They're dropping stuff that seem to come from, like, the, uh, the trail ruins, which is really cool. We're really close to making eye contact with some of these creepers, and I'm not sure how to avoid that issue. 
Well, all right. We have a boat for, you know, next time we need it. Oh, speaking of boats, what if we just put him in a boat? And went, but jam, but jam, but jam, but jam. There we go. We got ender pearls. Or at least he dropped ender pearls, but we didn't pick them up. Oh my gosh. <gasps> We've got another dude. So if we manage to kill these guys off with an axe, not a sword, so we don't sweeping edge anybody. Now, I don't know if I'm in a boat with a zombie. Can he hit me? I don't know. There's a witch. Oh, that's a very useful thing. Okay. Now, if we set the boat down in there somewhere. Now, let's break the rest of these. I don't know if he can hit me when I get in the boat with him. So I guess we will find out, won't we? He can. No. Oh. Oh, that's terrible. Well, I'll need a lot of armor to deal with that dude. But now he's in a boat and he's under... He's under... Shade, so that's helpful too. All right, and the sun's coming up, so I'm not going to I'm not going to bother him right now and we've passed level 30 I think that's a great spot to leave this we made a lot of progress this episode that mob farm is gonna make a huge difference in how we play the game and we've got things like bows and arrows available to us now with it and uh, as well as you know XP so I think, I think soon we should be thinking about maybe, just maybe, an enchanter. And we'll need to make a magical enchanting room in here as well as a bedroom. So we definitely need our, our house in the center there to be working its way up and building its way up. We've got a zombie villager, which is super, super, super cool. And we'll be able to do some really good things with that guy. And of course, we've got these guys here to think about for next episode. So many things to do. It's always fun to be at the point in the gameplay where there's more to do than you can keep up with. I've got so many plans for this island and I'm so excited to see where the next episode takes us. What do you think of our one block experience so far? If you missed the first episode, check it out in the box on the screen and be sure to like both episodes. I just wanna keep playing in this one block world and in fact, I keep putting off this outro because I just wanna keep doing things. But that is enough for today and I will see you all some other time. See you in the next one. Bye.